Welcome to Ask Oki. This is a video tutorial on how to wear your Ask Oki trousers. At the end of this tutorial, you should understand the following. 1. Balance. 2. Proportion. 3. Silhouette. And finally, Fit. We will begin by looking at the core principles of proportion. For this, we will employ the golden rule of thirds mainly associated with artistic genius Michelangelo. We will then proceed to an actual demonstration of fit using your professor as the designated mannequin. Now, let's talk about the golden rule of thirds. The golden rule of thirds states that for an item or an object to appeal to the eye, it has to be broken into three equal parts. The design element has to include the three separate parts, either as one-third and two-thirds, or one-third each. So how does that relate to our trousers? Now, if you look at the human body, specifically speaking from the shoulders down to the hem of your trousers, that's a full figure. Now, for it to appeal to the eye, it has to be broken into a third and then two thirds. And so the reason you wear your trousers at your natural waist is that when you measure from your shoulder down to your hem, your waist downward to your hem accounts for about two thirds of the distance, approximately, of course, depending on your body morphology. But for the average body, your natural waistline, which is at or above your navel, is about two-thirds of the distance from your shoulder to your hem. And so it then suggests that borrowing or adopting the golden rule of thirds, your trousers should be cut such that they sit at your natural waist, which is that two-third line when you measure the distance from your shoulder all the way to your hem. And that provides the best visual image. And this is scientifically proven. It is artistically proven. Hence, the golden rule of thirds. And so when we design our trousers, we've borrowed these principles and we've indoctrinated them into the design and ultimately the construction of these trousers. How does that affect balance? Now, when you wear a coat, which I'm not wearing, because I, for the purposes of this presentation, I have to illustrate properly, and hence the absence of a coat. However, when you wear a coat, you button it at your waist button. And when you button it at your waist button, there shouldn't be any gap between the waist button and your trousers. In other words, your waistband should meet the buttoning point of the coat. And that is proportion. Again, that's the reason we cut our trousers sit to sit at your natural waist. So we've talked about proportion. Now we're talking about balance. Proportion has to do with the golden rule of thirds. Balance has to do with how your trousers sit with the rest of your ensemble, primarily your jacket. Now let's talk about silhouette. The silhouette should be one that ensures that the eye travels in a continuous line from the shoulder all the way to the hem. And for this to occur, your trousers need to sit at your natural waist and cut full around the hips and thigh. And that way, your jacket, when you put it on, picks up your trousers at, at the hips and the eye travels in a straight line from the shoulders of the jacket all the way to the bottom without any sharp deviations from the mean. And that is silhouette. Let's talk about how your Askoki trousers should fit. Now, take a look at the trousers I'm wearing. These are a pair of our classic pleated trousers made in linen. This is about a 13, 12, 13 ounce uh, linen, Lisbon linen, if I uh, Lisbon. Linen uh, is the name of the bunch, if I remember correctly, so, uh, provided or supplied by Dogdale Brothers. It is a nice Irish linen, very crisp, sits very well, drapes well, of course. 
Now, if you look at the proportions again, I'm wearing this at my natural waist. That's my belly button right there. So it's sitting right there at my belly button, which gives me, again, the best proportions. I'll turn to my right. I'll turn to my back. You can see how it sits properly and follows the line of your body. Very congruent. That is the visual appeal of our high-rise classic trousers. It just sits properly, it drapes well, and it elongates your legs. It gives you sort of, sort of a, a, a look of longer legs, which is what you want, at least for most people, unless you have abnormally long legs. But for most people who have average or averagely proportioned, you want to slightly elongate your legs because it's just more elegant. It's just more visually appealing. Again, going back to the rule of thirds or the golden rule of thirds. Now, let's talk about the four key elements of our Askoki trousers. We're going to talk about the waist. We're going to talk about the fullness. We're going to talk about the width and the hem. And we're going to talk about the rise of the trousers. So that's four key items. So let's start from the waist. The waist should be cut slightly loose, slightly, ever so slightly loose. They should sit on your natural waist, of course, which is your belly button or slightly above it. Mine is right at my belly button. So it sits right here at my belly button. That's the waist. Again, it should be cut slightly loose and that allows you to wear them with suspenders. Because ultimately, for your trousers to drape properly, they should hang from your shoulders and not from your waist. And the suspenders, of course, ensure that your trousers hang from your shoulders. And that, in turn, ensures the trousers drape properly. That's the waist. Let's talk about the fullness. The fullness in the legs is something very arbitrary. Some like them cut slightly slimmer. Some like them cut fuller. I like them cut quite full because I just think they look more luxurious and they drape more properly. Now, imagine a man walking in his trousers. There is nothing as beautiful as seeing the cloth move on its own. The cloth should have a life of its own. And so when you move, your clothes should move. And so I like my trousers cut not too full, but fairly full enough that it stands away from your body and that the cloth itself or the clothes move while you move. Now, let's talk about the hem of the trouser. This is a bit more technical, a bit less arbitrary. Now, I'm going to stand to the side. And again, we're going to borrow from the golden rule of thirds. I wear about a size 12 and a half shoe. And the golden rule suggests that the width of your trousers or your hem should cover about two thirds. Again, going back to the golden rule, it should cover about two thirds of the length of your shoe. So if you're like me and you wear a size 12 and a half shoe, you want to ensure that your trouser hem is wide enough to cover about two thirds of your shoe. And for me, that number is about 19 and a half inches or 20 and a half or 20 inches in circumference. I'm about six foot one. So there are certain things that come into play as well. Your height certainly is one and I wear a size 12 and a half shoe. So I find that about 20 inches in circumference is just about right. Uh, now, for many of you, that will vary. But I think ultimately, um, they shouldn't vary so much that you're going three inches in either direction. So that is the width of your trousers. We're going to talk about the rise of your trousers. Now, when you wear your trousers, on your natural waist. The rise automatically is the distance between your natural waist and your crotch. And they should be cut such that it offers you comfort, of course. Now, you've all seen these trousers we see on the high street today. 
that are worn on the hips. The, the rise is going to be about half the size of my rise, and that's just very uncomfortable and even unsightly. And so what a high rise does for you is that it just allows the trousers to drape properly and it just looks more elegant and more importantly, comfortable. So these are the four key things when it comes to the fit or what we look at when we look at the fit of our trousers. One, again, is the waist. It should be cut slightly loose, not too tight to enable you wear them with suspenders. The legs should be cut fairly full Again, that is a bit arbitrary. Some like them fuller, some like them slimmer. The hem or the leg opening, that is more technical and should cover about two thirds of your shoes. So depending on how large or long your feet are, your trouser leg opening has to correspond with the length of your shoes to achieve that balance that we call the golden rule of thirds. So, and then the rise, of course, we talked about the rise. That basically is the distance between your belly button or your natural waist and your crotch. So those are the four key elements of fit. And um, we look at those four uh, when we make your trousers, we ensure that those four items are properly done. When those are done or sort of properly done, uh, then the trouser comes out looking really good. So that's about it. I hope this tutorial has been of great value to you. Please go to our main portal, www.askoki.com, and visit the store section. There, you will find a variety of Askoki products, including these classic trousers. The measurement and fitting instructions are properly documented in video format. Make sure to review them before entering your measurements. Please purchase a pair or more of our classic trousers. You will receive joy and utility from them for years to come. Also, do not forget to follow us on our multiple digital media platforms. Follow us on our Instagram page at AskOKIG. Click the subscribe button on this YouTube channel. Like the video and ask questions on related topics in the comment section. Do join our Discord community where we discuss all things classic dress, money, philosophy, and fitness. All the related links can be found at the bottom of this video. Thank you for watching. Goodbye, and see you on the next episode of Ask Oki. Okay.